Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at a question that I get frequently from people who want to start over with their server and that is how do I completely uninstall server? Now if you've tried uh, just uninstalling the server application, uh, you've discovered that when you try to reinstall the server, basically all of your settings come back and somehow it knows what your host name was and replaces that and even sometimes adds your open directory back in and you're really not starting fresh you're starting from uh, a cache or a saved file system that was put in place and so there are some more things that need to be done besides just deleting the server app itself so I thought I'd walk through all the different steps that I've had to use to get it back to a clean install now as I say that what I would say is if you have problems with things like the web service uh, or anything like that uh, that is usually related to the Apache install which sometimes will not be cleared up by a server reinstall you may have to reinstall uh, the entire operating system and just start clean. So there are times when you want to wipe the hard drive and just start over. But there are some times when you just want to clean up a configuration and so uh, this is one of the ways that you can do that and I want to show you. Now one of the first things that I would do right away is just delete your open directory master because a lot of these things carry over and stay uh, put together. So what we're going to do is come into open directory here. We're just going to destroy this open directory. Now we can do it in the terminal by doing the destroy LDAP uh, command. But what I thought I'd do is just show you how it works in the application itself. So we just click the minus here. I get this warning that says, hey, uh, it's basically going to destroy everything you got on your open directory. So people are going to be denied access. You sure you want to do it? We're going to say yes and say next. And uh, again, you want to destroy your current master. It can't be undone. We'll say continue. And so now we're just going to click destroy. And now it's destroying my open directory master. It's going through the process of wiping that out and removing the files and things that are related to that. And so I do this ahead of time so that I don't have to hunt these files down. Uh, that way the, the open directory is destroyed and we can start over. So I'm going to let this run. Uh, it can take a little bit of time to make all this work, but uh, once it's done I'll come back and show you what it looks like on the other side. Okay, so here we are on the other side. So the open directory has been destroyed. You can see we're at a spot now where we would be starting over. Uh, if we turn the uh, service on. Uh, we can test it just by throwing the switch here and you can see it's walking us through creating a new open directory. So we're going to cancel that. So we know that our open directory has now been destroyed and that's great. So now what we need to do is go ahead and just uh, shut down server. So we're going to go ahead and quit server so that we're here now with a blank screen. And uh, what we're going to do then is go through the process of deleting applications. Now one thing we need to do to prepare ourselves is we need to be able to see invisible files in the finder. Now there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can do that in the terminal if you wanted to. And in the terminal you would type this command defaults write com.apple.finder. Apple show all finders and you want to say yes there. Uh, in some instances depending on what uh, operating system you've got you might have to put true. Uh, and that basically is going to show us all of the hidden files in the finder. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it would be just to get an application that actually allows you to toggle hidden files on and off. It's just a little bit quicker than using the terminal. Uh, what you would do is once you would type this command in, you would say uh, uh, kill all finder and it would restart the finder and then you would see those uh, hidden files and then if you wanted to get rid of them later you would write the same command and just change this from yes to no or from true to false. So that's one way you can do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is use an application called Pathfinder which allows me to uh, it's a finder replacement that allows me to toggle on and off hidden files and so you can see here I've got the different hidden files that are sitting uh, along the side here and so I'm going to need that to be able to delete all the files that I want to delete. Okay, one of the first files that I want to delete is obviously the server application itself. So we're going to come in here to Applications, and we want to find our server application. So I'll scroll all the way down here and to the S's, and here's server right here. And so I want to go ahead and just delete this package. So I'm just going to uh, kind of put this into the trash can here. And it's going to make sure I want to move, move that and authenticate. And I'm going to say OK. And so now server has been removed and placed in the trash. And so that should have then deleted uh, the server application itself. But that doesn't delete everything that we need deleted. And so again, it says a server app removal has been detected. All the services have been stopped. It's just kind of letting me know that the server has been stopped by doing that, which is fine because that's actually what I want to do. I'm going to come back here into the root here, come back into ser the server hard drive. And now that I'm in the server hard drive, uh, what I want to do is go ahead and uh, start to 
clear out other applications that are related to the server. So what I'm going to do is come down first to uh, var down here, to this folder. And inside this folder, there are a few things that I want to remove uh, from this, uh, this folder here. The first is this server manager folder. You can see this has all these things related to server. So we're going to go ahead and trash that. I'm just going to cl click the trash can up here. It's going to ask me to authenticate every time I do it because this is, uh, these are system type files. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And what you might want to do is if you're concerned about deleting these, you might want to just drag these files to your desktop in case you ever need to replace them. Um, but otherwise, if you don't care, then uh, you can delete them this way. But just want to let you know that just in case something goes wrong. So uh, let's go ahead and delete this. And I'm going to say OK. And so now that folder has actually been deleted. So we don't have that folder there anymore. Uh, the other thing we want to do is go into this DB folder, this database folder here. And what we're going to do is scroll all the way down here. And we're going to look for server setup done. And we want to delete that file. So we're going to see uh, if that's in here or if it's already been deleted. And uh, it looks like it's already been deleted. Sometimes that'll show up in here. Sometimes it'll go away uh, when you delete server. So it looks like that has been removed. So we don't have to worry about that one. But it would be a, be a, a hidden file here called dot, called dot server setup done. And you want to just check to make sure that's not there. Uh, the other thing, too, when you look in here is you just want to make sure there's no other uh, server uh, you know, um, MGRD uh, folders in here, and it looks like we're clean with that, so those are gone. Again, part of this process is sometimes it catches things, sometimes it doesn't, so we need to search for the things that we've got in here just to make sure there's no server stuff that's left over. And so that's why we kind of go through here and just check it all to make sure. So we've done that in kind of the VAR database area, and so that's been taken care of. Now what we want to do, and I'm going to show you kind of on this side, is you want to go into the library folder uh, then, and so we're going to click on library here. And what you want to do in your library folder is take a look at a couple of things. Uh, at the very bottom here, you'll notice kind of towards the bottom, a server folder. This has all of your setup stuff for server. So we want to go ahead and delete that. So we're going to delete that. And it's going to ask us to authenticate again. And we'll say OK and delete that folder. So now that one's gone. And that removed that information. Now what we also want to do is go and uh, start to delete some other files here. So we're going to go into Preferences right here. And what we want to do is find any of the server-related uh, preference files. So you can see right here, I've got one here, a plist for accounts. Uh, anything Anywhere we see server manager. Uh, so all three of these right here need to be uh, deleted. So we're going to go ahead and shift on those and delete these. And so we'll come up here again, delete these. We'll have to authenticate again. Now those are gone. And so we've gotten rid of those uh, plist documents. Okay, now that we've got those done, uh, we need to check uh, one more area here. We want to go to this privileged uh, helper uh, area right here. And just make sure that there's nothing else in here related to uh, server um, uh, server D. And you notice that's not in here. We don't have that. So all of that's been deleted. So it looks like we've taken care of all the files now so that when we go to reinstall our operating system, when we go to reinstall uh, server, uh, we should be starting over and starting fresh and uh, none of our other configurations uh, will have shown up. So hopefully that helps you get started in understanding how to get, uh, get going with uh, uninstalling server and starting over. Like I said, your mileage may vary. Sometimes some of these files get, uh, uh, get stuck in there, and you might find that uh, all of a sudden something comes up again. Uh, if that happens, uh, sometimes the only way to really uh, start fresh is to do a clean install of your system and start over. Uh, but this is one way that you can at least delete the server application and hopefully catch most of the files and things that are related to it. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.